welcome we were discussing about drc we have already discussed climate vegetation wildlife important lakes and rivers today we are talking about life of the people in democratic republic of congo we have already talked about climate very hot climate and wet climate so forest type atmosphere it is so normally very less people are living here so we can say that thin population we can see two types of tribes two types of groups in drc one is bantu bantu is the largest tribe very big tribe big group they are very tall and have curly hair like me one more group is the, that is pygmy they are very short people and height is less and they normally live in houses made from twigs twigs means small small branches of trees wood now what type of things these people are doing they are collecting honey they are trapping that is hunting animals in that manner they are living they are doing agriculture so we have discussed about two important types of people pygmies we can say primitive tribe primitive tribe means old time itself that is they are the original inhabitants originally these people were living in drc now we are talking about another group agriculture agriculture they are doing mainly two works we are talking about their occupation or their work one is farming second work they are doing mining mining means extracting taking out minerals from underground part of the earth that is they are digging it making big big holes and they are taking out the minerals now farming what type of things they are doing farming very important thing is cassava one crop it is cassava one plant it is actually very long plant fleshy type it is we can say tubers because they are living in the underground these tubers what we are doing we are making powder then we are using for just like we are using wheat flour same manner they are using for breakfast lunch that type of time so that is cassava along with that many other crops are also the that is maize maize makka then rice banana all these things now we are talking about industry industry means the place where we are doing processing of raw material raw material means the things we are using to make and making finished products now here industries we can say very less so all the minerals what we are doing they are exporting many many minerals are there. gold is the diamond is the cobalt is the lot of minerals are 
are but industry is not the much so these things are exported now we are talking about hydro electricity what is the meaning of hydro electricity electricity means current hydro electricity means we are making current from water the movement of water water is very important resource here i have already told river congo it is the highway of central africa it is the second largest river in africa first one is nile second one it is this congo so water is very important resource with that water we are making current electricity now transport what about our transport here here roads are the railways are the but they are not well maintained or we can say very poor transport so normally people are preferring to travel by air because sea ports are the water through water i told you that water is very important so sea port is the matadi seimana kinshasa water ports are the but mainly people are preferring to travel by air so we have discussed almost all the important things so normally here development is doing slowly slowly but compared to past development is doing more good manner because they are taking this minerals extracting these minerals they are exporting these things exporting means giving to other countries and with that money they are doing development of the country so including transport everything now they are trying to develop in a more better manner so drc is also progressing thank you